Roush Games! Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Roush Games here on YouTube. We're getting right into some of my little bit of recruiting going on after that big win over the New York Red Bulls we had to end last episode, our first win of the year. Big goal from Leo Fernandez. He's going to definitely take us forward a little bit here. We're going through our Mexican recruits, Diego De Buen, a central defensive midi. He's a guy I've got my eye on right now. He's coming in pretty expensive, but I've been scouting him. I like where his stats are lying for that position as CDM, and we do have a spot for a CDM in a 3-4-3 diamond. Arobitzio Hernandez is a defender I've been looking at as well, much younger. Moving up to America, Dylan Rennick is probably the prospect I am becoming highest on, playing for the Seattle Sounders, 21-year-old left back, a lot of green in his stats. Oscar Sorto for the LA Galaxy, and Juan Agudelo, he's a striker I've had my eye on. With, with Connor Casey out, he's someone we're looking at. But we're going to get into our fifth match of the year, heading into match day here, ladies and gentlemen, number five. We are <laughs> heading out to the pitch. Nice sunny day. We've got the Columbus crew. We're playing in Columbus, Ohio. We're on the road again this week. We had a nice big win on the road last week. Here are our match day five standings. We were looking okay there. We've got Columbus's starting lineup. Their defense heavy. Our 3-4-3 diamond with that attack up front has to penetrate here. We've got McInerney playing up on net as the striker. He's going to have to lead it for us. He needs that first goal of the year. Early on in the game, Hopano on a run. Crosses it up, but it is headed away by the defense. And they're struggling to keep it in. We've got a shot from Fernandez, and it flies right over the net top shelf. Later on in the first half, 16th minute here, we've got Hopano on another run down that left side. Big cross to the center, again headed away by the defense, and this time they do get it out. We're moving ahead to the 35th minute now, just crossed into it. We've got a big pass up, and we are being manhandled on our way to the ball. And Columbus does not get called for it. They do end up clearing. Later on in the first half, minute number 40, Columbus on the attack, melting through our defense. We've got a little bit of a breakdown here, but they're going to get nailed for the offsides, and the ref's call is correct. And we're going to go to halftime with a nil-nil draw against the Columbus crew. Not a whole lot going on in that first half. We're moving into the second half here. We've got a throw in from the Union. We're in the attacking zone just outside of their box. We've got a cross here, but again, the defenders get to it. Gaddis corrals it, tries to pass up to Latou, but there's a big clear from Columbus. One more chest up from Philly, and we've got a volley here back and forth. Columbus trying to corral it and get it out, and they end up taking control. 58th minute now, the Union in. But we are going to be called for the offside on it. The run was planned just a bit too early. You can tell, I mean, I don't know how the linesman could tell across the field, but either way, we're going to get the call against us there. Moving on now, we've got a throw in from the crew, and they are in an attacking presence, and you're just going to see this guy melt straight through every line of defense we have. The footwork, he gets a wide open shot, but we get the pincher on him, and the Union do end up clearing there. Nice boot. We now have Hopano looking for control of the ball. He gets a key screen there, and Fernandez running up the field with a pass up to Hopano. Hopano shot, score! Antoine Hopano, the Frenchman, I think, shot bottom right of the goal there. Beautiful shot. That's that 65th minute second half presence. We take a 1-0 lead over the crew. Here is your replay of it. Well struck off the boot. Really didn't go as far into the corner as I thought it did. The goalkeeper was just a bit out of position and couldn't get his hand down on it. Great shot from Hopano. Moving ahead now. 75th minute. We're on another run. And Columbus clears it away as they have. There's a big chest up and it's going to go straight to the keeper. Moving ahead yet again, we've got Michael Lahoud on a run. Great pass up to Sebastian Latou down the seam. Minute number 80, all day for a cross, gets it. There's a bicycle kick, it's off the goalie, and the defense is going to pass it out. And they, we keep it in, we get one more cross. There's a head, and again a big save. Unbelievable volley, two great chances there, and we couldn't capitalize on either of them. We're up into the 85th minute now. There's a big sliding tackle that was very sloppy coming in. And the referee is going to make sure we know that it was sloppy. But he's actually just going to award a free kick there. Shane and Williams, a lot of ankle on that kick. Not the best defense in the world. But we're going to give Columbus a free kick. And we're also getting some much needed subs into the match here. We're going to bring off Roger Torres for sure. Columbus, I'm not sure if they're bringing anyone out either. Now there we go. We've got the Union. We've got Castle coming in in place of Torres. Just some fresh legs for the stretch. We've got an offside here. Now this one, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Who's going to call that from across the pitch? 
Oh, unbelievable. But we get called for an offside, whatever. We've got Obobio Kugo now. Nice run down the seam here. We've got a good crossing offense. There's a big head and it's gonna go into the net. But we're gonna have a defender on his knees as that's an own goal. They're not gonna give it to Jack McInerney. It looked like he got the header off of the cross there. Either way, it ends up in the back of the net. It's gonna put us up 2-0, but it's gonna keep McInerney off the scoring sheet. You guys slow it down and see if you can tell. I think it did go off the defender there, but whatever. We've got Cleverson now on a run down the sideline. He's got his own cross to the back end, but we've got the crew with another good clearance. And that is actually how we're going to end the game today. One last attack from the Union. We end up taking this one 2-0 over the crew. We had a great goal from Hopeno in the 65th minute. And then we had that own goal that should have been that man McInerney's goal. After the match, uh, we get an inquiry request result about Diego de Buen. He's pretty expensive. Uh, same thing for Osco de Sordo. And Leo Fernandez is pretty happy with the amount he's playing. I mean, he got a huge goal against New York. So we're, we're going to keep playing him. He's a hot foot regardless of the 57. He's in form. Heading into our match against Toronto FC, we are going to talk about someone in particular. And actually, I'm eyeing up my boy Omobi Okugo. He is anchoring our defense. And my first couple of matches, I was down on him. He's been great on stand-up tackles. He's been great in the zone. And frankly, teams aren't getting a lot of shots against us because of him. So he gets some praise. We're heading into a rainy, wet, muddy game against Toronto. We're going to be in... Philadelphia here. We're wearing the home kits, ladies and gentlemen. This is Toronto's starting lineup. You can see they look like they're going to give us a little bit more space. They're not as packed in around the goal. I'm going to keep it with that 3-3-4 diamond, though. That just works. Michael LaHood on a run in the fourth minute, nice and early, trying to keep a two-game winning streak alive. LaHood misses on the, the cross, but we will get a corner out of it as it goes off a defender. Fernandez is going to take this corner here, setting it up. We've got everyone in the box where we wanted to be. There's the boot. And Latou is lined up. It goes off a defender's head, but Latou is not getting up, ladies and gentlemen. The ref is going to blow the play dead. Latou has to hobble off the field. We're going to have to bring in Cleberson much earlier than we'd want to, which is notable because he does not have the best stamina in the world. Seventh minute, Torres now with the ball. Pass over to Cleberson. Cleberson down the sideline here. Beautiful cross there, but the goalie gets out and punches it away from McInerney's head. McInerney just can't buy a goal. Again, Cleberson charging down. The cross punched away. But because it was punched, we get another corner here. Fernandez setting it up on the outside. Everyone in the box again. There is the boot. Shane and Williams eyeing it up, but the defender gets position on him and heads it away. We're going to have Michael LaHood stepping up, though, trying to keep the attack in. Everybody is just running back to defense, and LaHood is trying to press forward with the rebound. Horrible, horrible team play. LaHood tries to get across there, but again, we'll have the defense stepping up because nobody was in the box for us. They all fell back. They were worried that they'd have a counterattack, and it just never came. But now we're going to regain the ball, the ball in the midfield, 14th minute. Hopeno now gets it. And we've got Cleberson, but they're going to call Cleberson offside. Let's see where the line was on that. It does indeed look like he was offside. Watch how they actually measure this. Watch this. I don't know who's watching just him this whole time, but he does end up offside barely as Hopeno passes to him. It's a good call. I just don't know how anyone other than a robot would catch it. Minute 17, we're attacking early. Cleberson, big pass up to Hopeno. Can't quite get it past the goalie. And the keeper will indeed hold it and get rid of it here. Moving ahead now, minute 32. We've got a pass up to Hopeno, but Hopeno with a bad sliding tackle. We're going to see some official action here. The ball does indeed go out of bounds. And the linesman, the judge, comes over and he is going to card Antoine Hopeno. We're going to get a better look at this tackle. And it was a terrible decision. That is just all Achilles tendon with the spikes of the cleats. 35th minute, Lahoud passing up to Cleverson. Cleverson with a beautiful pass to Fernandez running up the side here. This should be Latou Fernandez with a shot way outside on that. Could have had a pass across there. Instead, we've got Cleverson now in the 40th minute, winding down the first half, down to Michael Lahoud. And Lahoud with a nice chip up to McInerney, and he heads it straight to the keeper, but the keeper does indeed bat it away, and the defense is going to come out on top of this one. Nice chance again for Jack McInerney, but he just can't live up to expectations yet. McInerney again with the ball, minute 43, takes a shot, twice defended, and then takes a second one that goes well outside. We'll end the first half in a nil-nil draw. There's our man Cleberson being forced into the game much earlier than he wanted to. We're going to have to keep an eye on his fatigue. And for throw, here is Torres, and he crosses it to McInerney, but again, the defense going to come away with that one. Our crosses, they're often, but they're really not good. Our guys can't get position in the box. McInerney now on a run, 52nd minute, gets a nice cross, but the goalie steps up to punch it away, and the defense again with position in the box. They're going to get it out on us. 
Torres on a run, 56th minute now, trying to get it to Hopeno, but again, right in front of the net, can't get it, the defense winning the battle of the heads, leaving. 60th minute, beautiful pass to Hopeno, running into the box, he's gonna be stripped, but there's Fernandez coming away with a shot, and it's off the goalie's outstretched fingertips. We're gonna get a corner here, but this is definitely the best chance we have had in this match so far. Fernandez, our man in form, despite his 57 overall rating, Big shot from a little guy there. We're going to have the corner now from Michael LaHood. He gets the corner across, looking for Fernandez in the back, but the header goes too far across, doesn't quite get to the net. Two great chances for Leo Fernandez, separated by just mere seconds. We're going to keep him in our games as much as we can. He's playing great. And now Toronto with a press here. Williams playing on, but his man beats him. They've got a wide open shot, but they don't take it. We do strip it. We do clear it. Hopeno now just accentuating the clear there. Later on in the match, Toronto on another run here. Our defense again collapsing. Huge shot right out in the open, and McMath steps up and slides in front of it. But it doesn't matter anyway because the shooter was offside when the ball was passed up to him. That is a good call from the linesman. That was obvious. Nice to see McMath trying to keep his clean sheets in line. We've got Fernandez with the ball now. We're in the 77th minute. He's charging up the field. Not the fastest guy, but I like his ball movement. Gets it stripped from him. The defense now trying to clear it away here. Hopeno playing on his man, but the defense will clear. We've got subs now for Toronto late in the game. 87th minute, Hopeno charging down the sideline. No word yet on Latou. There's a cross that again goes awry. The defense gets involved. But now Torres with the shot goes right to a defender, and they are going to clear it out this time. We are now at the end of the game here. We're in a stoppage time, if there is any. And Fernandez comes away with the ball, takes a shot, but it is way too weak to do any damage. The keeper holds on to it. And he's going to clear it with the big boot there, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to come off of a member of Toronto. We're going to attempt to get the ball up into attack one more time. Fernandez, another run, but another feeble shot from well outside. He's got no power anyway. And that's how the game is going to end. We've got another nil-nil draw. Zach, Zach McMath is happy about it. He's going to keep his clean sheets lead in the league up there right now. But uh, aside from that, another draw is not going to help us. We end our two-game winning streak at a two-game winning streak. We get another draw. We are still undefeated, which is a very, very good thing. We're still earning points in every match, but we need this attack to start playing better. We're actually on top of the Eastern Conference after that decision with Toronto, which is astonishing. And we're the only team in the conference without a loss. But if you look west, there is some competition. The LA Galaxy are on a tear. There are two undefeated teams between them and Seattle and... LA just wins right now, apparently. Latou has been announced as being out for four weeks. He's got a sprained knee. We've got to change our plan of attack. I want to keep running that 3-3-4 diamond because I like the offensive chances that it does provide us, especially with me learning kind of the intricacies of this game. But we're going to have to take Latou out. So we're going to actually put him down as a reserve and we're going to end up starting Cleberson. We get our final report on Shane O'Neill from the Rapids. I'm not convinced that at that price, he's someone I want to go after when the transfer window opens. Same thing for Tommy Meyer. I'm keeping an eye on Juan Agudelo, though, now especially that Mac, that um, Latou is injured. We also start reporting on Matt Miazga and Colin Martin. We've got a game upcoming with the DC United. This will be our last game of the episode here. We're going to decide to talk about a player here, but it's not going to be in a good way. We're going to single out Antoine Hopeno, and we're going to call him out for his undisciplined performances as of late. He's got two yellow cards in the season. He does have a goal for us, but he's taking dumb chances. He's getting in his own head. He's not really thinking out his thoughts and everything here, thinking out his thoughts. So we're going to motivate him. We're going to get on his case a little bit. And Chris Albright is going to complain that we're not starting it. I don't want to start him. I want to start someone else at CDM, but we may sub him in later. Here we go, guys. Match day. It's our third match in the month of April coming off that draw. We're going to head straight into it against DC United here. We're, we're playing much better than I thought we would at this point. It could just be the MLS is weak. It could be that I need to put my difficulty up. If I go on a 14-game win streak, I'll consider that. Here are the standings now, though. And since we played Toronto, New York and Chicago have topped us on the standings. DC is going to hit us with another defense-heavy lineup. It's going to be tough to get in there. And they've also got their striker, De Rosario, leading the league with five goals right now. We've got to keep an eye on him. You can see we've got Cleberson in McInerney's spot as a striker. McInerney's a winger for this. We just need Cleberson's boot. With Latou out, we need all the firepower we can get. There's a cross that the DC defense will get to very early in the game in the fifth minute. Now we've got DC on an attack. De Rosario stepping up, but the ball is going to go right to McMath. Luckily, that's their big striker. 14th minute, and Hopeno strips the ball. We're in the attacking zone. He's going to get a cross into the box, 
And there's off the chest. And now Cleverson with the rebound gets the goal. Bottom left corner. There's our man. That's the reason we're playing him right on the attacker's circle there. He's got the boot. He's got the skills. He is our highest overall rated player despite his low stamina. And if Sebastian Latou is out for a noticeable amount of time, he's going to have to be the guy to step up. Cleberson, that's his second goal of the season. You guys didn't get to see his first because of what happened in that last stupid episode with Premier Pro and corrupt footage. But here, you get to see a beautiful goal. Just cleans up the trash that was left in by the DC United keeper. And we take an early 1-0 lead over DC. This is going to be a big win if we can get it. Later on in the first half, minute number 20, DC pressing here. Our defense is falling behind. Sloppy tackling as happens. But there's a great two-man attack. And Brian Carroll is going to clear 31st minute, they've got a big attack, but De Rosario is actually going to be called for offside here. Let's get a better look at it. He is well offside, and again, Zach McMath is saved from having to take on a five-goal scorer one-on-one -on -one there. Got a terrible throw in there, but McInerney with a big tackle gets the cross away. I'm not sure that tackle was clean, but it wasn't blown dead. Torres with a cross. Again, the defense coming through. We've really got to work on our body positioning in the box. We're losing out on corners and crosses constantly. There is a terrible shot from Antoine Hopeno. The reason for his discipline before this game. Now we're back on defense. We turn the ball over to Thorrington. Thorrington up to De Leon to De Rosario. De Rosario is the one with the boot. He's going to pass it off to Silva. Silva back to De Rosario, but his shot goes well wide in the net. Too frantic of an attack there, and that's going to end the first half. We're going to take it 1-0. Our defense letting them through a little bit more than they have recently, but their shots have not been clean. We've got Hopano on a big run. What he does have is a lot of speed. He takes a shot off the crossbar. The defense does indeed clean it up. Later on, Hopano again. This time a big cross right to the keeper's hands. We've seen that way too much this year. Cleverson with the shot well wide, not really poised there. Hopano on the outside gets across into the box. Defense cleaning it up. McInerney looking for it. Defense huge clear there. Lahoud now this time with a crossover to Cleverson. Cleverson again with the capitalization. This is a beautiful goal. Gets it past the defender and the keeper. And watch how he gets it past both of them. Can you guys say double five hole one after the other? Watch this. Boom, boom. Oh, between the legs of both of them. Yes, the keeper was sprawled out, but I don't care. That is a thing of beauty from Mr. Cleverson from Brazil. That's his second goal of the match, his third of the year. And we're back into things with Brian Carroll. Now he's going to dump it off to Cleverson. Cleverson again looking. 68th minute just crossed into. Tries to chip it up, but the defense is going to get that out. Carroll trying to keep it in. Pass up to Hopano. Hopano with a good shot this time, but the keeper does dive on it. Moving ahead, McInerney still looking for that first goal. Well outside, doesn't quite get it toward the post on that one. We get a little replay of it. We've got to get this guy in form. Cleverson's too old. McInerney's the future. He's a great striker. He just has to get some confidence this year. His shots are poor when he has clean ones. When he has tough ones, he's all effort. He can't quite get in there. We've got a sub here for DC United, and we've got notification that Zach McMath is leading the league with four clean sheets. We're also going to sub Carroll out. We are going to bring in the complaining Chris Albright to give him his requisite time in this match. He'll be taking over as our center defensive midi in place of, yeah, him. <laughs> Moving ahead, Hopano, big time cross here. There is a shot, but it's off a defender. We're going to get back to it again. There's Fernandez again trying, but that shot had no business being taken, and it's back to the keeper and around. 87th minute, Cleverson on a huge break all by himself against the goalie and off the keeper's fingertips waiting for the head and the keeper pulls it down. Huge stand-up save for DC there. 90th minute, Thorrington pressing. We're going to get it back. We back heel it back to him. He passes it straight over to Porter. Porter trying to set up a cross here. Again, we get to it and Okugo this time just going to take it out of bounds. We'll take a corner at the end. We just can't back heel it to him again when they've got attackers in position. Corner inbound from DC. We've got it sent across. There's a head and there's the save for Zach McMath. And he's going to keep that clean sheet record extended to five now. We win 2-0, guys. We are back in the winning column. It's our third of the season. If you like this video, please leave a big fat like on it. And if you are new here and you like my content, please consider subscribing. I'm going to have a lot of it coming up in the near future. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.